Hello everybody, I'm Renzo Mox, and welcome back to another Renzo Mock Review. It's been a while, but we're finally back on track, and I'm so happy, starting off with the yellow GCU Commander. Now, I actually didn't really do a good job at counting, so if this wasn't the next mock, I, I do excuse you. I, I excuse myself. Um, I'm sorry about that. I was just kind of... I, I started to notice a lot of people actually voted for him, so... Yeah, so we're taking a look at the yellow GCU Commander, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So I want to talk briefly about the GCU Commanders and what their deal is. So, obviously, if you guys have seen Renzo Episode 4, the one with Jira and um, Lennox, you could tell that there was a red GCU drone, and that was the Red Commander. And the Red Commander had a very distinct look. He was this tall drone with large wings and these, like, spiked toes, and that's kind of the idea behind the GCU Commanders. The Commanders, or the Commandos, however you want to say it, are colored. So each one has kind of a distinct color to them. There's probably several variations throughout the years of the several commanders. I'm sure there was a red and a yellow one before, but if they die, they essentially get replaced by just the exact same color. So and there's probably been hundreds of the colored commanders just because it's a nice, unique way to go about it. And that's the same deal with the red one. The red one got murdered. And that was kind of a big deal. You guys haven't seen much of the GCU portion stuff behind the scenes, but um, you'll start. Hopefully, you'll start to see more GCU stuff in stuff like Conan because I don't actually have ownership of the GCU. Kasai is the one who created the GCU, so props goes to him. And they're very, very big influence in the series. So I'm kind of going on about this for a little long, but you guys kind of get it. The commanders can be pretty much any color. The red one was in Renzo. I built that. I never reviewed it. I felt bad about that. And now this is the yellow one, which I've built too. I have built another one, but I will review that one eventually down the line. So, yeah, this is the yellow commander, and he is freaking buff. So, I'm sure you guys can kind of tell from the weird shaping. I'm not going to beat around the bush. He's a combiner. He, he kind of combines with two other little drones here, which I'll get to in a bit. But this is kind of his shape. He's a weird... His proportions are just so out of whack. He's so over... Like, he's so overdone and just beefy and that's just kind of due to his um, little men here so first of all I want to mention that he does have several weapons he does have these yellow katanas in the back which are not his primary weapons but he kind of pulls those out when he wants to get hands on he also does have these which are very nice pieces that I don't see get used enough but these are just guns I think they're just kind of these laser guns that he would use they their function they would function very much like how they did in Hero Factory where they would just be like pew, pew. Um, but they probably can work at swords too. I like that. Um, so those are just his little gun sword things and I think those look really cool. Well, let's put those down. Um, and you can obviously see that he for his main arms in this mode, he does use his little guy's arms and I think that's really funny. I think it because <laughs> it looks really weird and unproportional. He does have a very wonky color scheme consisting of silver, yellow, black, gray, and tan, which is a very weird combination of colors, but that's kind of the GCU norm, besides the yellow. Most GCU drones are just silver, black, and tan, um, and gray, too. So this guy just has yellow as an additional color. As you can see, his head is a little bit different than a traditional GCU drone. It's a little wider, and he does have the yellow stripe indicating that he is the yellow commander. He does have a blue eye, and so does he, his drones, which, again, not too common for GCU drones. Most of them, like, uh, this guy has a red eye, so it's not a super common thing. <coughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I, he looks really weird, and also connecting his back was a really, really bizarre <laughs> process. But, um, yeah, just as is, he looks pretty basic. His legs are super standard. I didn't even cover them up that much. But he's a, he's a fine-looking mock. I don't think he's amazing, but he's definitely interesting for sure. So I'm not going to... We're going to make a quick cut, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to untransform his little guys. So I've transformed him now, and as you can see, this is his basic. It's actually... It was way simpler... Uh, um, sort of uh, process that I th originally thought it was. All you can see is here, you can see little gray axles in his shoulders there. Each foot attaches to them. That's the only process. So let's go ahead and untransform the rest of these guys. They, they actually take up a lot of pieces. So the idea also, I don't think I mentioned this, but each uh, yellow, each color commander does have their own little like um, 
they are they each have their own like sort of uh, price and budget so they can kind of do whatever they want as long as it's within their budget so they can custom make their body to be whatever they desire it to be they can upload it to a new body for instance so they originally I imagine they start off as GCU drones who kind of get promoted and do well at their job and then they become commanders which again is not very hard in the line of the GCU work so these are these little drones they probably have individual weapons they're very simple very dumb looking I like them they're little waddly guys and they transform into his shoulders and his extra arms which I think is really funny and they just have these basic heads so these are very specific drones they probably aren't too common of GCU drones unless they're used for like picker uppers but they would just be small like little quick soldiers that would be very disposable and effective you would imagine that these guys actually probably blow apart pretty quickly but um now let's get into the rest of this guy's transformation he can friggin shing <laughs> whip out his swords and they're on the wrong side here but yeah, so his actual arms are pretty freaking basic. He isn't too big of a drone once you take off his big shoulders. He's pretty, uh... He's pretty basic. He's, uh, very standard. He's he's a little bit above the size of a regular, normal-sized GCU drone. So, I think he looks okay. He just doesn't look nearly as interesting unless he's combined. But there they all are together. I'm actually gonna grab the medium sized drone which could be a little bit different than Kasai's I don't remember but I believe this is the basic shape of the standard sized GCU drone not the smallest one but this is the second smallest one yeah I'd say that's about right so he's a little uh, little bigger but that's what they look like all uncombined so yeah interesting I, I like that feature it's really really fun for me so this was the yellow GCU commander um, a one that I enjoy, but not one that I think is amazing. He's pretty standard, and the other one that I did is also very standard, so I I'm more excited to get into more funkier colors down the line. I want to do like an orange one. I think that would look really bizarre. And again, they can really be any shape. So this is already a very different from the Red Commander. And if you guys want to see, you'll have to go to Renzo episode 4 to look at him, because I never did an actual review. Sorry about that, just didn't really feel like doing it, and I needed him for parts, so. Yeah, uh, I think he's interesting, I think the play feature is interesting, it's not my favorite, but, um, he's, pr he's actually really simple and a pretty lazy mock, but I like his gimmick, he probably won't be around for that long. He hasn't been introduced yet, because they just don't have room for the GCU, but, uh, he'll probably be introduced towards the end of the season, I can imagine. But I like him as a mock, I think he's a fun little goofy mock, I like his little dudes, I like him overall. He's not amazing, but he's just kind of a throwaway character. And in case I do decide to get rid of him or something like that, I'll have this video to reference him in case I want to build him again. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this review, and let's get right on to the voting section. So yeah, thanks for watching this review of, I know I just said that, but thank you for watching the yellow GCU Commander review. All right. Okay, welcome back to the vote area. You guys know the deal by now. It's you guys pick a couple mocks I want me to review. So obviously I said I was going to be changing up the formula in the next episode, or in the last episode, sorry, I said I was going to be switching up the formula. So now I'll give you three mocks to choose from at the beginning of a review cycle. Obviously you guys can pick one of them, and for the next review I'll dwindle it down to two options, so you guys can vote either side here, or and then the final video I'll just go ahead and review the next mock. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing, so you guys can pick a, oh no, I don't want to make that confusing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to make that too confusing. I would, I was going to say, okay, no. You guys can kind of understand it. So, yeah, let's go A and B. So, no, 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 let's stick with B and C, because I think that's easier. Okay, so B and C. Either you vote B. These are three GCU drones. You probably can't see the... Yeah, there's one in the middle there. But it's three of them. These are just standard drones. I want to review these just in case you guys want to know how a GCU drone is done and how they go about. And so maybe you can make them. Maybe I can make them, you know, for future reference in case I ever need to build them again. Yeah, that sort of deal. And then C, Tablos. A mock from Renzo Episode 7. I do not have Tetralos, sadly. I took them apart. But I can review Tablos because I know a lot of people actually like him. So, yeah, anyways, you guys vote B, GCU Drones, or C, Tablos. Okay, sounds good. See you guys in the next video. My cat is yelling like crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.